Are you the kind of person who cares to have fresh flowers and a stunning environment around you every day? Or perhaps you could care less and the basics are just fine. Well, whether you are an environmental connoisseur or you're currently oblivious to your environment and could care less, I wanna share with you the value of shaping your environment and specifically with respect to your health and mindset and even your eating behaviors. Hello and welcome, I'm Kimber, mindful food and fitness coach, and this week I've got these super fragrant flowers to remind me to pay attention to my environment a little bit more. So why is this? What is this about? Well, last week I was at a conference and yeah, it was beautiful. There were orchids on the table, there was a stunning uh, sunlit window space available, all these elements in the environment and specifically also the people and the food that was prepared and easy to access and eat and super nutritious, lots of colors, lots of healthy fats, all the veggies, all of that at Unfair Advantage Live. It was awesome. Uh, all of these things, despite disrupting my workout routine in a major way, I was at their conference some days from 7 a.m. till 10 p.m., uh, in spite of that, disrupting my usual movement, I felt way better than normal. I felt super healthy, super energized, super awake, and yes, the people were one influence, but the environment, which includes the people, but the environment in terms of visuals, and smells and space and food and light, all of it came together and had me feeling really quite awesome. So what am I doing with this this week? What am I doing with this? These flowers are my reminder of a couple things. One, quite literally to stop and smell them. These ones are really good. I don't know what this is, but yes, it's delicious smelling. And that is triggering a sensory experience. And sensory experiences help to trigger our memory. They also are really uh, facilitative, facilitative of getting us to take action and, and kind of trigger these things in our brain that remind us of some actions we might wanna be taking. And in this case, this one is all about me taking, at any moment of the day, a one breath pause or a 10 second pause to really notice what's happening around me, whether it's kind of chaotic or whether it's simple, but just to take a moment to notice and to notice I am here, I am okay, everything is fine. These are the facts of the situation. Sometimes we get so caught up in our head and in our thinking that it's really hard to stay grounded in our physical present environment. So that is step one. And step two is again, my reminder for myself of mindfully eating. So I personally tend to be a multitasker, especially when I'm eating alone. Uh, I wind up checking emails, watching videos, etc., while eating. And I know that it's taking me away from the experience. I don't taste my food as well, even when it's super delicious, and I'm not as aware of how much I'm eating. So these things really can disrupt uh, our body's natural ability to self-regulate how much we eat and what we choose to eat. And it disrupts our enjoyment of it, which sucks even more. So the flowers is my personal reminder to start monotasking instead of multitasking. Monotasking, not multitasking. All right. Now, my invitation to you this week is to consider your environment, right? What can you do? What can you shape in your environment? Just one thing to help you achieve with ease more of your food and fitness goals. So for example, a lot of my clients are in an office environment or sometimes a social environment where there might be a lot of foods that they don't normally want to eat, like cakes, cookies, etc. maybe candy bars in the office or uh, granola bars that are basically candy bars. So what can you do about this? Well, one option is to simply take a different route. And if it's your home, of course, you can also put those things on a high shelf or in the back of the fridge or in the freezer or somewhere where they're less accessible. So these simple environmental shifts, whether it's an environment where you can literally control it and take something out of the picture, or if it's an environment where the thing is still here, but you can maybe navigate around it a little differently, those are two great ways to reshape your environment, to make achievement of a task or new habit that you're trying to really instill in yourself that much easier. 
All right, thank you so much for watching. My invitation again, one tweak to shape your environment for easier health and fitness goal achievement. And don't be shy about stopping to smell some flowers this week. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you're doing in the comments below and take a second to like and subscribe. Wishing you an amazing day with wellness and mindfulness.